It doesn't sound like I'm too loud. I'm just going to try and talk as quietly, but also as clearly and calmly as possible. Peace and love. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen you guys. It's been a while since you've seen me, and I have already tried to make this video like five times and every time I like sat down to do it like I sat down somewhere else and I recorded like a full length video explaining and then it didn't feel right and I tried to record it outside and it didn't feel right and everywhere I was trying to do it, it just doesn't it wasn't working and I don't know if necessarily some of that is Saturn being in my first house just like no do it again do it until it feels like you um, and it has been a while since I've recorded, so I think maybe part of that was some of the reason, but I really just wanted to come on here, and it feels right now. It feels right now that uh, I'm in this moment, and I understand why the other times didn't work, because I needed to kind of get really back into my energy. And I was slowly kind of releasing a lot of things that were not my energy in order to come to you guys now, or you individual, <laughs> in this place to speak from myself and not from anything that may have become attached to my energetic field. So, hello! Uh, the last time I saw you guys, I was living in a van, and I was in Sedona. <laughs> and then after that, the laptop stopped working, I really thought it would just start again, I was trying not to be too hard on myself, but I really wanted to keep editing, but then things were starting to happen where it felt like the trip was less about um, building a following and more about building myself and learning about myself and if there's anything you guys have probably learned or anything that you have learned on your own individual journey it's that you can make all these plans and anticipate what it's going to look like and what it's going to be and what you're going to gain from it and then you look back and you're like wow that did not go at all like I planned but still learning so much I've learned so much and I'm very grateful for every experience that I had on the road and all the experiences that I've just gained over the course of this summer and essentially I did continue doing van life if you follow my Instagram I continued doing van life until May and then stopped and went through the solar eclipses and the lunar eclipses which already bring about so much change sometimes change that we cannot even control it's just it's gonna be enacted whether you're ready for it or not and so um, I'm no longer living in a van no longer um, in that timeline or on that path, and I actually think it's funny, um, Nate, you messaged and asked how van life was going the day I originally tried to record this video, and it's almost like you kind of just psychically picked that up, that that was not happening, any happening anymore, um, but yeah, so it's not happening anymore, and I'm no longer on that timeline with that, with my, with that partner, with my, with that partner, um, but I wish him all the best on his journey, and he learned just as much as I did, I'm, I'm hopeful, or or at least I'm pretty confident that he did, and we learned a lot about each other, we learned a lot about what we desire, our paths, and every time I travel, I learned so much about myself, so that was already a given. I already knew that getting in a car and just being one with the road and nature and the stars, like, I already knew that was going to bring so much to me, and it did. But, um, again, going through another death and rebirth cycle, and maybe that's an eighth house stellium thing, is that that's just going to kind of be a constant and something I just have to kind of lean into and just be accepting of and recognize that that's natural for the experience of life that I will have this time around. And so again, what I thought the channel would be is no longer what it is going to be and I'm okay with that and I've been sitting with it and I've been meditating and that's why I'm sitting here now sharing and I still want to continue the channel, I still want to continue to share the things that I'm learning share the things I've learned about myself, about my relationships, about my past, because I feel like in sharing some of these reflections, especially because a lot of it feels like shadow work, that it'll allow like a space for conversations to be had or thoughts to be like kind of uh, cultivated so that something can, uh, some fruit can come of it for those who watch and you who are watching. And so that's what I'm doing. And not to give too much away because I'm still developing a lot of what I am going to make the channel, um, but I am in a stable 
place now. I am kind of grounded, so to speak, and as I'm grounded, I am replanning everything I want to share. I am getting back into all these things that I feel like I lost while I was doing van life. Things that I was, like, I didn't think I was going to lose at all. Things that were, like, a part of my every day. I really just, personally, and it was my, it was my decision to let these things go, and it's taken time to sit and reflect on why I let those things go, and so I'm getting back to my tarot, getting back to my crystals, I'm getting back to my ritual, I'm getting back to my practice, I'm getting back to yoga, getting back to meditation, getting back to journaling, getting back to dream journaling. So many things that I was not doing anymore that really are part of my everyday experience, so... I've been getting back into all those things, and I'm excited to share those experiences again here, and i um, really going to take some time to recognize what this channel is for and not just decide like this is what it's going to be and kind of let it flow. And if anything, it's kind of honestly felt like just a place where I can share experiences that I'm having with other people who are also going through a lot of death and rebirth cycles. Um, I actually noticed that the video that has the most um, receptivity, the most active uh, exchange and connection with others is my 8th house stallion video which like I didn't even plan to be that I literally was just like really in my feels one night and was just like I just have to express this I have to know that other people who are in this placement feel supported and then sitting in that thought and that recognition and that awareness of that being what has been the most fruitful of what I've shared has kind of led me to believe that a lot of what I will share here may just be those things that I'm learning about myself and ruminating on, the shadow work, and not just the shadow, but also the light, because we can't see the light until we recognize that shadow to see the contrast, and so there will be, there is always light gained from those things, so I will most likely be making another video where I just kind of talk about all that happened during van life, all I learned about myself about myself in relationships, about myself, um, as far as shadow work I still needed to do. Um, I think it'd be really important to share, especially for um, others who may find themselves in similar situations. Especially when you notice that you're no longer doing all these things that you used to really connect to or tap into. Um, I definitely feel called, so maybe some more shadow worky videos, and I definitely still feel called to tarot, but maybe not as uh, heavy as I did last summer, for those of you who are still with me from that time. Hello, I really love and appreciate the support that you've given me. It does not go unnoticed. Um, I definitely want to try and get back into that for new moons and full moons. I really want to start vlogging again, and I really, I still do want to travel. I still do want to go and see more of the world. I feel called to see more of the world, but at this time, I, I do need to ground. I do need to create a more solid financial plan for myself for this next go-around, and I'm okay with that, and I'm learning, and I'm growing, and that's something we never stop doing, uh, ever. And... I feel called to check the time just intuitively, so I'm just going to check the time with you guys really quick. Okay, I still have 11 minutes and 39 seconds. I'm doing so good. And I think that's something I'm also excited about too, is it seems like with all that I've gone through and all that I'm continuing to experience over the course of the summer, I have really been able to just kind of tap back into myself in a way that I haven't felt like I've been able to in a long time. So. I'm excited about that, and I also feel like a big part of that is getting back into my Reiki practice and getting back into this awareness and knowledge of all the things that I learned when I left Virginia in the first place, and when I went to Colorado and I started working at a crystal shop. Like, all the things that I collected there, I, I need to remember those now and integrate them into my reality now and recognize the purpose that they played and the role that they play in my larger picture of what I'm supposed to do while I'm here. <laughs> on this planet. Got a, a really like strong feeling in my chest when I said that, but really getting back into my Reiki practice and really tapping back into that and honoring that and pra getting back to practicing every day and charging um, myself every day in that way. It's very much necessary and something I will be sharing at some point in the future again um, as a way to offer some services to the collective, so that's something I've been working on as well, and I kind of just wanted to make this video to explain to those who have continued to subscribe, for those of you who continue to support and subscribe and stay subscribed and check in on my journey, I really do appreciate that, it still feels kind of like 
it, I'm grateful. I feel very grateful that there are those who are on their own journeys who still take time to come and check in online and support mine. So thank you. So that's essentially like I don't need to make the video super long. I know I have all this time. So I'm like, well, I have all this time. Why don't I fill it? And if you guys know me, I can talk forever and kind of just go down the rabbit hole. But um, I definitely uh, was not expecting the changes that occurred. I thought I was going to still be living van life. There are so many things, and I'm going to share it, like I said, in another video. But um, I'm, I'm grateful for where I am now. I'm grateful for the things that are happening. Lionsgate, the, the day I'm posting this, Lionsgate will be one, two, three. It'll be three days after I post this. August 8th. It's going to be a new moon in Leo on Lionsgate. It's a very powerful, potent day. Please, please, if you happen to watch this before Lionsgate, take some time on Sunday. Sit in meditation. Sit with your dreams. Visualize your dreams coming uh, to fruition. Visualize yourself having the outcomes you desire and any large dreams, aspirations you have. I just watched a movie recently and they said, um, start small, dream big. And it's those little steps that we're taking now that are going to create those things for ourselves. And we do deserve them. That's something I'm learning to accept is that I can uh, be okay with honoring that I do deserve to fulfill the dreams that I have. So, <laughs> like, I digress. Please, if you have some time, uh, new moons are all already potent. And then it's in Leo, on Lionsgate. A very powerful activating day. I've always felt really connected to Lionsgate. So, if you have some time, write down your intentions, your manifestations, things you desire. Watch some videos, watch some tarot readers. I'm sure there are going to be a lot of, like, highly charged readers uh, making spreads for this. And I'm going to be making one as well that I'll probably be posting the day after I post this on Friday um, to see what I channel from my guides, if there's anything for the collective that taps into me. But, uh, yeah, that's what I've, I've just been... Well, I will introduce you, you probably won't be able to see them. I got two new crystals. I got an amber crystal, finally. Sorry, my guides are just like, I felt called. They were like, hey, show me your crystals. So I just got an amber crystal. I've really been wanting amber for a really long time. I've just been like so drawn to it. And I love Jurassic Park. And I always just think about the beginning when he's holding the mosquito and he's like, que linda it is. Yes, it is beautiful. And then I got some scolocyte. I got some skull site, which I already had, but I got another one because I had a bag with all my dream crystals for lucid dreaming, and I used to keep them under my pillow, and I lost them while I was in the van, and I lost a lot of stuff while I was in the van. I lost a lot of crystals, a lot of things that were kind of giving me signs, and like I said, I'll make another video about all that uh, hoopla, and kind of dive into that, but I just wanted to come back, check in, say hello, say I am well, I am learning, I am growing, I am transforming, I am releasing, making space for what is to come, for what is um, still destined along my path, and very grateful and aware of it all, and wanting to offer some kind of insight and clarity to those who have continued to support and I really do appreciate that. And if you're new and you just happen to click on this, that, that that's very interesting if you did, so hello. I hope that um, the things that I have posted in the past you can find some uh, cool insight with and stay tuned for the newer things I'll be posting because they'll definitely be a lot more in alignment with how I feel my true energy is. I feel really connected to like my center, as I've been hearing it recently, I'm connected back at, at zero point, and it feels good, and I still have a lot of planetary stuff just kind of going on for a while, for the next couple of years, and I'm ready for that as well, so, yeah, actually, I think this, this is, uh, this feels good, this feels so much better than every other time I've tried to record this, um, so I'm gonna keep rambling if I don't kind of close it out, and I do feel... Um, like it's naturally closing out and I'm excited I'm excited to get back on here I'm excited to share again I'm excited to tap in I'm excited to what feels like continue along my path and my purpose and uh, I am a midheaven Scorpio which I'm still learning a lot about but offering a, a space and place for transformation for death and rebirth to occur for those in the collective and offer healing and offer insight and offer perspective and whatever it is that I can offer and um by giving that, receiving the abundance I desire in return. And like I said, I still want to travel. 
still plan on traveling, still plan on seeing the world, still plan on um, finding my, my nest, finding my own personal roots to sink into the earth and find a place to call home. Still manifesting for that. But if you've gotten this far into the video, I appreciate you sitting here with me and holding space with me to tap back in and just continue to walk this interesting experience of life. And I'm very grateful. I know I keep saying that, but I am. I've been experiencing a lot of gratitude for everyone in my life, all my friends, all my family, everyone who has taken time and space to offer me encouragement, uh, friendship, advice, support, any everything that I've been offered has been really beautiful and, and kind of in awe of how, um, how many people who I wasn't really connecting with while I was on the road were ready to and open to to support me as I transitioned. So. It's really nice, and I'm excited to come back, so thank you for watching this far. And um, I don't know if I'll have everything updated. I probably will, knowing me. I'll have everything updated in the description box for like how you can connect with me and other social media avenues and stuff that I'll be building and whatnot. So, um, yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank you for holding space. I hope you're excited for the things that are coming for you in your path. I'm excited for the things that are happening in mine. And this is going to be a very crazy year. And the years are just going to continue to get crazier. So, okay. <sighs> okay. Yes. All right. I feel good. Okay. I'll be posting this later this week. And then we'll be tapping into it. So, thank you for watching. I know I already said that. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Very grateful. Here's to the future. Okay. Okay. All right. Like I said, I'm bad at ending videos. I'm just like, oh, I guess I'm done talking to you now. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, as I will continue to assert and say peace and love.